workspace. So in previous video, we have gone through the Xcode environment and uh, uh, some of the basic uh, controls available into the Xcode, how we can utilize that. Uh, so in this video, we will go through uh, creating the simple Hello World application and how we can utilize some of the basic controls of the uh, available into, into the Xcode and how we can run to the simulator. So let's start with first. So let's open the Xcode first. Okay, so let's create a new project. So we are giving the name as a sample app right now. Uh, as an interface, we are creating, a, we are selecting the storyboard, and rest of the things will be same as it is. Let's save it to the desktop right now. There you go. So the project is created now. Now what initially we will do is uh, we will change the release modes to the uh, debug mode everywhere because the application is in debug mode right now. We are testing the application. We are not launching the application. While we are publishing the application, we will change everywhere from debug to release. Also, the project format will be the latest format. So, let's simply run this application. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is the basic application. There is nothing right now. Even in a splash screen, we are uh, we have added nothing. So let's now run the application with some changes. As we can see, first of all, the application name is a sample app because as, uh, we have created the name with the sample app. So we can create, we can change the name from here only, like. Uh, So we have changed the display name. So now it will automatically take that display name here. As we can see, it's automatically changes now. Now, now we will go through the splash screen, how it will be working. Now we are simply deleting the application because now we are changing to the splash screen. So here is our launch screen or splash screen, whatever terms we are using. So initially it's empty. So what we will do is we'll place a logo here and we'll see how it implements. So in assets, we can also uh, add images and all the things. So initially we will add one image here. So now we do have a logo here. Now we will use it, uh, use this logo into the launch screen. So what we need to do is we need to add image here, image logo here. So we'll have to use image view control here. So we have to simply drag it into the storyboard page. Now we can change the name here. Now from here onwards, we can change the content mode of that as per the requirement. But currently we will keep it to the aspect fit ratio only and we will change the frame of it from here. We also need to make sure it should be in a center only. So we will keep it in a center. So there you go, the splash screen is now ready. Now we will move to the next part. This is our view controller page. By default, first page is automatically created. 
so we can either remove it or we can reuse it by just renaming whatever name we need to give so let's change the name of it now as we are changing the file name so we have to use the controller name similar so we are changing them as well and also we have to change into the storyboard as well so here we will do the first page these are the basic properties that we can use size free form top bar we are not using so we can do not my bottom bar we don't, don't have a tab bar right now so we are doing it now appearance is based on the theme we are selecting it's either it's a light theme supported or a dark theme if both are supported we can keep it in for right now simulator size should be here also we can change the uh, default simulator as well from here so we'll keep the lowest resolution lowest supported resolution right now now simply what we need to do is we have to show the simple hello world label on running the application so let's change the background color now now we will drag the label here because we need to show some sort of a hello world title so for that showing purpose we will use the label and here we will change the change the title change the font properties and alignments change the background color and now we will set to the frames what we are requiring So the label is created now. Now let's see how it looks when we are running the application. So as we can see, splash screen is launched with a white screen and black logo. And after that, it's coming on the first page with label created. So right now there is a fixed label now what we need to do is on click on button click we need to change this title so how we can do that so for that uh, let's take a button first So similar like label, we will also change the properties for the font as well. Like text color, fonts, everything, whatever we need to go. So here we can change. Also we will change the text color of the So now we do have a button ready now how it will call that button and how it will change the label text so that depends on the logic we are creating onto the view controller page so we'll have to go to the view controller we'll have to declare the interface builder properties uh, for that label and button and we'll have to connect to the storyboard then only it will communicate with the view controller so let's create the first controls here So we have created the label similarly we will also create the button as well 
so as we can see we have created now we will separate the uh, methods of the page by the using program mark now it's time to create the method which is going to call on clicking button so as we are declaring the button into the, into the storyboard and we need to connect so we'll have to use the id action here so method is created now what we need to do is on clicking that method we'll need to change the title of this uh, label so how we will do so simply we need to access the label like self dot lbl title text updated text so logic is ready declaration part is ready now simply we need to connect this all the stuff uh, with the storyboard so how we can do that go to the storyboard select the label first we will connect the label with interface builder go to the inspector window and new referencing outlet we need to drag to the view controller like this so now it will ask which label is this so we are we have declared it as lbl title so we are selecting it and save it now if we go to the first page as we can see it's already showing us selected that the LBL title is already connected with the storyboard so now it's ready to use similarly we will also connect the button as well by using new referencing outlet we are connecting the button now there are lots of methods available on that button click event so we need to select uh, uh, one of them method so most of the cases we will use touch up inside as a default method so we will choose that and we will connect with the view controller so do go is the method of that button so now everything is connected now let's see if it works or not as we can see it's already showing connected there so now let's run it So as it's initiated with the default property, default text, let's see on click on clicking on the go, it's changing or not. So as we can see, it's showing now updated text here. So it's changing on the button click. It's communicating with the interface builder and storyboard. Also, we can log the properties directly. Uh, let's say if we need to check the updated values or existing values of the label and how we can do that we can simply print the values like here so by this way we can check the values so this will show the default value of the label it will print out the value and on clicking if we do similar thing now in this case it will show us the updated value it will print the updated value so we'll get to know while debugging that it's actually updating the value or not so let's run this so as we as we can see the application is loaded and whenever it's coming to this page view load method is a ba basic method it's an inbuilt method it will get called whenever it's coming to this page so it's an inbuilt method for that particular view controller page so it's showing us default value now let's see on connection yes it's printing the value with updated text so it's fetching the updated value from the label and uh, printing the values for us to the testing purpose so uh, that's all for this video in the next video we will see what are the controls what are the storage components available into the swift language which we can use 
was storing and fetching values and uh, how we can create the global variables and all the stuff we can uh, check into the next videos uh, that's all for this video thank you guys